All systems go today. Side. What's up guys, Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. Today we are doing a sod install. We got 150 square foot of sod we're installing for a customer who currently has no grass. He's got no grass at all. He doesn't he doesn't want grass. The only reason we're installing it is because his dog is getting sick and his dog's been eating the plants that are inside of his house. So crazy the way this worked out, why we're why we're actually doing it, but we are installing some sod. So We've got four buckets from our skid steer top soil back here, and we are headed to pick up the sides. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so first things first, when we got here we had to start taking down all the little saplings and trees in the area where the sod's going to go. Um, that tree there probably didn't have to go, but we wanted to cut it down. We need to create as much light as we can in this area. There's not much light, a lot of full grown trees around, so we got to do everything we can to get some light in there. Then you notice there we took that section of fence out. We do that on a lot of our landscape jobs just to get equipment and materials in and out but even if you don't have equipment or materials if you're going to be doing a lot of work and coming and going back and forth to the truck take a section of fence out it beats going through a 36 inch gate and having to travel around further to get to the gate in this case it was about three times as far to go through their 36 inch gate than it was to go through this section of fence so we simply asked the customer if they minded they said they didn't care as long as we put it back and didn't tear anything up and it was six bolts and off in no time so do that if you have the option and here we're outside the fence actually cutting down some more little saplings trying to create a little bit more light there wasn't much of a gap between the forest and the fence there so we cut down as much as we could and here we're just being smart using our brains not our muscles so having a little fun as well Alright guys, so we got the fresh topsoil in, we got everything graded, we are ready for some sod and it has arrived. One pallet of fresh sod. And this is the fun part.
tip for installing side, guys. Don't just lay it on dirt. Make sure you're tilling everything up real good. Put down some good topsoil. When you do lay your side down, make sure you're tucking it up and not just laying it. Make sure you're pushing it together and kind of pushing it down. Don't just lay it in there to where you see cracks everywhere. It's going to end up dying. You're going to end up having lines everywhere. Make sure you're tucking it. What's up guys? Just installed that 150 square foot of side. Uh, fairly easy side, not too difficult. Uh, one thing you do want to make sure you're doing when you're installing side, make sure you do the proper prep. We did, it was, it was about 130 square foot exactly, but uh, anyway, we did that. It took us about two and a half hours to prep that ground. We, we tilled it up really good, then we added, first we had to clean it up, get the little saplings out of there and that. But then we tilled it up pretty good, got the rocks out of there and little things that were in there, some weeds. And then we added topsoil and tilled that topsoil and the, and the existing soil together to make sure that you get a, a good bed to lay that sod on. If you just lay sod on hard ground, it's going to die. You're, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money, you're not doing it correctly. So make sure you do the proper prep when you are doing sod. It's very, very important to do the proper prep. But do the proper prep and you will have beautiful sod. Thanks for watching, guys.